Hi friends. Since there's such a heat wave going on in the United States of America, I thought today you might enjoy a weather report from where I live. I live on the shores of Lake Chupala, south of Guadalajara in Ajijic, Jalisco, Mexico. You can please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. You can see that it's a beautiful day on the lake. It's 82 degrees and there's a wonderful breeze coming in off of the lake as there is most days. For those of us who live here full time all year round, the summer is our favorite time of the year. And the reason is because the hills are green and everything is clean. It's kind of like Camelot. The rain may never fall till after sundown. By 9 a.m. the morning fog must disappear. In short, there's simply not a more congenial spot for happily ever aftering than here in Ahik. <laughs> I didn't write the song. It says 9 a.m. The fact is that it rarely rains in the daytime here because the tropical sun burns the clouds off by about 10 in the morning. Later in the week, starting tomorrow, it's going to be raining, uh, 79 degrees, 78, 76, and then, whew, perfect sleeping weather, 62, 63, hope you enjoyed my weather report for Ajijic, Mexico. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of silliness as much as I did enjoyed making it. The only problem is I put this shirt on to make the video and I have the windows all closed up here so that the birds aren't drowning me out in the sound of the waves and this shirt's not breathing. Mucho mejor. What else is going on today? Well, the house is in kind of disarray because I have my guy Juan here working on the Salitre. I've uh, made a video before about Salitre, if you don't know what that is. It's, um, it's a thing that happens with plastered brick walls here in this part of Mexico. Your walls start growing like they have cancer. Anyway, that's what's going on today. Let's go see how Juan is doing. I should have taken a picture of this before we replastered it because it's dug out right down to the bricks, which is about an inch deep into the wall there. It's what you have to do when you have salitre, and it's not terrible there in the dining room, but here in the kitchen, I've got one spot that's really bad. This is what it looks like before we start digging the plaster out. It just starts to bubble the paint because the wall is growing underneath like it has cancer. This is probably the reoccurring worst place in the house. And for some reason, this particular part of the wall just soaks up groundwater like a sponge. And um, there's no fixing that part of it, but we're going to try something different there with sealing the bricks before we replaster it. I'll let you know if it works. I'm going out here to see how Juan's doing mixing up another load of the stuff that we plaster with. We don't use regular plaster with caul when we're doing a salitre repair. We use uh, gray cement, cemento grace, arena de rio, that's river sand, and ciliador, which is latex sealer. Mix that up and enough water to make it a slurry. That's what we patch with. After we put the Fiend Salitre, which is a chemical that we paint the hole with before we replaster it. I hope you can hear the thunder. I've talked about thunder here before. It's not like crash boom. Um, it just rumbles. It's like boom, 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 boom. It's been going on like this 
um, for nearly an hour now this morning. The white powder is ant poison. Had an eruption of fire ants there and stepped in it, got about 10 bites on my legs, and I have a rule about fire ants. I see you, I kill you. You bite me, I kill you all. Here's the finished plastered, not painted yet, but plastered, and nobody can match the texture on my walls better than Juan. He's a master at it, an artisto. But the reason he matches it so perfectly is because he's the one that plastered the whole inside of my house in the first place. People are always asking me, why did I build this tower so tall? It's 22 feet on the inside and 26 feet on the outside. I thought I had good answers for that. It's a cooling tower. It sucks hot air out of the top and draws cool air into the room down below through the windows. Cools the room. Architecturally, it balances the cupola on the other side of the house. Lynn said she figured out the real reason. She said, I built that tower so big because I needed it to house my ego. You can talk about architectural balance and passive heating and cooling all day long. You can't fool your wife. <laughs> Hi Lynn, it's been a while since you've been in one of my videos. You want to be in my video? Uh, well, I guess I am. What are you reading? A poet by Michael Conley. On your Kindle? On my Kindle. How's your day going? Be better when there isn't all that scraping and scratching and digging on the wall there in the kitchen? It doesn't bother me. Well, it doesn't bother me because I know it's temporary. Mucho reto! Mucho humo, no way. Todo así. Uh, seco arrivo? Si, ma seco. Ma seco. Mm. Uh, possibly it's necessary a mas arena de rio. Si, si. Un mas saco or mas? Mirar quanto primero, uh -huh. quanto pa reparar, pa mirar quanto saco, si dos, o uno mas. Okay, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.